Whiskey Tango Charlie. Welcome to another episode of Sensory Training Friday. So this Dude. is going to be number one. We are we are we are scotch. Right? Scotch. No, it's whiskey with Whis the e, Charles. Whiskey. Whiskey. So there's Ooh. all kinds of whiskeys around the world. So there is. Canadian whiskey, there is Asian whiskey, there is American whiskey, there's Irish whiskey, Scotch. right? Scotch. There's whiskey from the corner of your garage. I mean, there's whiskey from all over the place, right? So yep. Missouri has just recently passed some legislation that they're going to have a Missouri straight. So there's all kinds of whiskeys, but the God. only whiskey without an E, Charles, wow. is what? What? A whiskey without an E. Scotland. Whis Scotch. Scotch. Whiskey. So, dude, we. This is premium shit right here. I'm just saying. It's childproof too. <laughs> it's got a so, childproof cap on it. Macallan, single Scotch. A uh, single malt, I'm sorry. 12 year old. The Glen Morangi. The 18 year old, which you're, you're struggling a, with. A very Freaking rare. Open. Very rare. It says it right here. Very Hell. rare 18. Mm -hmm. Right. So, qu quality, quality. Glen Morangi. Holy shit. I just caught that. And then that a one. Glen 11 and a 15 years, another single malt. Right. Woo. So, Scotch, that will be number two. So right. Scotch to me has never been a good pour. This all has to do with your palate, Dang right? It. I'm not a big peaty person. So all of our palates are different. This isn't about me and this isn't about what I enjoy. This is about what you and you enjoy. And what we want to do is we want to expand your palate as we explore Whiskey without an E. Whiskey. Look at the different colors we have. So, double I, cask. I brought this one. So, nephew brought this to a Christmas party uh, this past Christmas. Uh, he's a big Scotch guy. Tom says, hey, Uncle Charlie, I think you're going to like this one. And... Yeah, well, we liked it a lot, Troy. Just say <laughs> you're like twelve-year-old double cast. So as I look at all the glasses we have here, there are all different colors, <laughs> right? Wow. So let me ruin everything that you've ever learned on our show. As long as we've been doing this, the color of Scotch has nothing to do that the darkest one that we're tasting today is a double cask or double barreled as we may find mm -hmm. because when it's whiskey with an E, no you e. can add, with no E, no you e. can add anything to it. So it does well, not fall under any of the laws and legislation that's been passed here in the United States, so, Charles. So the color may be... Color is okay. They, they add caramel coloring is, is fine. Okay. So, so, so let's taste this dram. <laughs> dram. What? We're in Scott. Scott. We're Scott. We're drinking Scottish okay. whiskey. We're we're drinking Scotch. We're drinking right. dram. So you you do it. the the technical thing, guys. A dram is one eighth of one ounce. You know, you can't even wet your damn tongue with that. Just saying. Just saying. So, it's, I go back to my motorsports days, right? How many eights are in an inch? <laughs> Stop it. I'm about to spit scotch. <laughs> right? All right. So, how many eights are in an inch? A true dram from the Scottish people that we've spoken with is two ounces or in our world it's a pour. three fingers what, whatever it's, it's a pour. three finger pour but right and the but the technical 
you don't believe me, you don't believe me, go Google it. Right, Google it. Google is not the smart. Look, they Google. don't have, they do not have Google one in eighth, Scotland. One eighth of one ounce is, is like a teaspoon, which is a hell you can't even right. take. But I get it. Charles, look, we're going to agree to disagree. No. Okay. Look. We, we hang out. We've been with Charlie, with the Drammers Club. Drams, hey, Drammers are poor. I get it. It's a poor. I've always what is, said that. <laughs> so, all right. It's Got a it. poor. It's a poor, right? So, I shocked the palate just now, Whew. right? Mm. So, 12-year-old, the McCallum, double cast. Cherry seasoned American European oak cask. Got it? Got so, it. what is this? Is this a single malt? Single malt. Single malt. So, this is the not McCallum. a blended. No, it's the McCallum. That's right. The right? McCallum, right? Go. So, I gotta I'm picking up oak, no peat in this. No. Um, it's very pleasant to the palate. If I poured this to. In my home for you, you would swear it's a bourbon. Maybe that's why there's so much of it gone. Mm, I, I wouldn't go there. But All right. Uh, so my palate's pal different than your palate. I'm pal good. What are you getting? Um, I get hints of the, uh, look, I always get the hints. Not that it's the that PD, but I always get that little hint of the back of the throat. It's, it's, it's kind of like the... It's kind of like throat. some of the agave stuff. We get the tequilas, and I get that little twinge in the back of the throat. But that is an amazing pour. Just saying. So I could tell that it's been in two casks, right? Right. Because of, uh, to you, me, it's it's woody, it's oaky, it's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. That that's yeah. all I get. And you get hints. I mean, slight hints of cher uh, sherry. Right. 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 So. Blends the palate with some water. This is the one I'm. A little smell to the back of your hand. You know what we should do is we should break out the sensory kit, but with that first one, all I got was wood. Right. Okay. You could get the barrel. <clears throat> so again, 18 year, but look how light and colored it is to the 18 year that we have here with American bourbon. So understanding that. In Scotland, we don't have wide ranges of seasons. Right. Now, I'm not going to tell you it doesn't get beautiful up there because it does, but it just doesn't get the sensation of hots and colds like maybe we do here in Kentucky or even Texas and Alabama. So you're not going to get it in and out of the barrel. And Charles, another thing are these, these are in used barrels. Mm. Oh, wow. Nothing like the first one. No oaks. And you would think Great. something that's been in a barrel for 18 years, even though it's a used barrel, right? All right, 86 proof. I was going to say, because that was very light. It's so light on the palate. So this is a rare malt scotch whiskey matured <laughs> in oak casks mm. and so we believe that this is a blend mm -hmm. because <coughs> most of the Glen Morangis are blends it does not say that on it mm. but it does say a rare malt scotch whiskey uh, distilled and matured in Rossshire produced in Scotland since 1849. <coughs> I did the one of the rookie <coughs> mistake. Is this a rookie mistake? I breathed in. I breathed in with that. Oh, <coughs> oh man. Get you a little Sorry. bit of water. So I do not get any of the oaks. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So it's not a vanilla. Mm. So what is that flavor? This is why we need our kit. <clears throat> Let's nose it. 
<coughs> and we pick up. We're not sloshing it around. So I get some must. It it almost gives me that sensation of a of a dusty, and that may be the 18 year. But it does it's it just smells old. So wow. All right. Hands down. You Favorite. can't describe it. Favorite. I love the McAllen Blend Brandy. Wow. <coughs> Woo. <coughs> so it's almost a citrus now that's falling on my third sip of that. So <coughs> we're gonna wow. have to we're gonna have to come <coughs> back. Let's go ahead. <coughs> cleanse <coughs> cleanse the palate <coughs> as Charles continues <coughs> to struggle. Glenn Levitt, you can find it on the shelf most anywhere. You're probably not going to find a single malt 15-year just anywhere. Again, 15, 18, and a 12. Uh, and the colors vary not because of the age in the barrel, but because maybe things that they've added to this. This is distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland. I, I'm, wow. Wow. So, I'm trying to smell both of those, right? 18 to 15. Wow. Caramel, caramel. All right, so this is a French oak reserve. French oak, okay. So, what we know about French oak, uh, for many of you that have tried it, is the Maker's Mark 46 is a French oak um accented juice here in the United States. Oh, that's that's almost like a dessert. You know what that is? That's almond roca. Wow. So almond roca candies are one of my favorites at Christmas, and that is almond roca. Woo! So we went from a... Um, 12 year totally oak right to an 18 year very rare is what it says on the bottom right. 12 18 15 but this is as a french oak and the french oak gives i want to say vanilla i i get vanilla in the nose that that i had to go two to three Woo. All right, no so, rookie mistakes here. So it is a dessert. So um, a little appetizer with some oak, uh, the full course meal with some citrus, and now we're with the dessert with an almond roca, and I'm now picking up the finish of vanilla. Vanilla, and I get more so of the hint of... Um, I, I get the more so the hint of the peat of the of the scotch there on that one. So I don't get the peat. I, I and, and I may be describing it totally wrong. I just it's it's um it's a flavor profile that I get and 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 here's the ones that really get me is the ones that have and I guess the really heavy, heavy peat, peat, peat that I call it and um it almost has that penicillin aftertaste, if you will. So, you know, it, it's sort of like those folks that we talk about the George Dickel, if you will. If you think about the George Dickel, some people say, oh, the George Dickel, it tastes like Flintstone vitamins. It has that, it has that aftertaste that sort of. So this has the smokiness, and maybe not the right terminology. Maybe peat is not. The, this one has, in my opinion, the back side as the finish is a little more smoky, if you will. Maybe it's not the peak. Maybe it's just smoky. I, I don't know. So if we're all about the same age, we grew Ooh. up about the same time, we watched Baba <coughs> Black Sheep with Pappy Boynton, and <laughs> scotch was one of the things they brought in because at that particular time during the war, they shut down all the American distilleries yeah. and turned them into something else. 
So the only thing you could get was scotch. So a lot of our grandparents have grown up on scotch and um, we are learning to taste scotch. So Charles, to a dram, what are you doing? I, I'm gonna do something at, off camera, but I'm just saying, off camera, just we'll do that. But here, Troy, a dram. What is the best dram that we're having, right? <laughs> Think about that. What is the best dram that you're having? It is this. It is the one that you're sharing with friends right now. Boom. Cheers. Cheers.